Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually at my mom's house and I noticed that she wanted to do some cleaning and decluttering today so I thought I would come and help her out today. So this is actually everything that she ended up decluttering from those cabinets up there. There are two boxes here that she filled up with everything that she no longer uses or wants or needs anymore. And I think she did a pretty good job of decluttering all these items. The first time I started to declutter and Swedish Death clean my parents' house was in 2019. Over the last few years, I've helped them declutter several areas of their home and in this video, I've combined them all together in one video. Okay, so now that we have this empty space down here, before it was just filled from top to bottom with all the cups and all the mugs and everything, so now there's more space to put extra dishes in there that they actually use. And so right here we have all the clean dishes, so I'm just gonna grab some of these and just organize them into these cabinets and make everything more organized and accessible for her to use. As you can see, the very first video that I ever did decluttering their home, I just focused on one area of the kitchen. I started off very small and very easy, and that's how we kind of got the ball rolling with decluttering my parents' house. Decluttering small areas of the home eventually led to decluttering the hoarder garage several years later and in this video you will not find the garage videos. This video mainly focuses inside my parents house.
finished putting everything back onto these shelves. So I grabbed all the clean dishes that were in here and I put everything back over here. So now over here on the left side, we have all the cups. We've got small little plates, medium sized plates, regular plates, and then kind of bigger bowls over here on this side. So this looks so much better than what it used to look before. I unfortunately don't have a before shot of what it looked like before, but it is so much more organized. We have everything where it belongs now so hopefully my mom and everyone can keep it that way today we are at my parents house my mom asked me if i could help her declutter and organize so of course i said yeah i can do it so i'm excited to be here today so i can help her out it's been some time since i last helped declutter and organize the house so today we are going to focus on this storage area where she keeps a bunch of just random stuff in there i don't even know the last time it's been cleaned out and organized so we're gonna go ahead and dive into that today so this is what we are currently working with so down here they keep all their shoes that also clearly needs to be organized I'm not sure if we're gonna work on that today but we are definitely going to focus on this area right here and then this part of the cabinet you can see there's a ton of stuff in there it is pretty much full of just random things so we're just gonna go ahead and do the first step which is to take everything out and wipe it down and clean it also guys sorry about the lighting because I work with natural lighting so if it gets a little dark sorry in advance but got to do what you got to do I need like a ladder so I can get up there so be right back. Got the ladder. And by the way, as I'm doing this, I'm not just throwing things out that I don't think that should be in there because obviously most of this stuff is not mine. So I am going to have my mom's input on all these things that I'm going through. She's just not going to be part of this video because she doesn't want to be on camera, but just so you guys know that she is part of the whole decision making process. <music> of VHS tapes who remembers those <laughs> so this is everything that I just took out of the first two shelves I still need to work on this one but I'm going to start organizing things by things that we want to throw away keep and donate As I'm going through this, I'm finding a lot of family photos, so we're definitely going to keep those. I'm just going to put them to the side and group them all together so we can find them easily. Here's a little picture of me when I was a kid. Also, a lot of this stuff is really dusty, so I just have a microfiber towel and some pledge to wipe stuff down with. <laughs> this in here and this actually was mine from when I was younger and this is where I used to keep all of my hair accessories and hair clips and there's still some in here so 
since this is all mine, I'm going to declutter everything. But yeah, it's a cute little organizer, but there's no use for it, so we're going to declutter it. Now that I've gone through some of the things and sorted it out, I'm going to go back into this one and take everything out. <laughs> a bag full of money. I think it's just quarters, but I'll keep it. Just kidding. Another tip for you guys, as you're decluttering and you find old boxes of stuff that you don't have anymore, you don't use anymore, make sure you go through it because sometimes these boxes are just empty and there's nothing really in here anymore or there's nothing in here that you need. Found a remote in here that's for a TV that we probably don't even have or use anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of this. So I have finally finished taking everything out of here and now we're just going to wipe it down and clean it up so we can put some stuff back. Okay, so I think I just finished going through everything that was in there. So we did three separate piles. We did a donate pile, a trash pile, and a keep pile. So now I'm going to put everything that we're keeping back in there and trying to organize it and make it look nice. Okay, so now that's all done. I'll show you guys towards the end of the video what it looks like. And now we're just going to work on this part right here and do the same thing. Again, sorry for this lighting. The sun's going down, so we have to use the light now. So bear with me, guys. So my 
my mom has a lot of CDs and she just told me that she wants to keep them all. So we're going to keep all these and put them back in there because she wants to keep them. So we're going to keep them. Okay, so in this giant box, we have a bunch of medicine in here mostly. So we're going to go through all this and just toss out anything that's expired and keep anything that they use and is still good. This is all the stuff that we are going to donate and then in this bag we have everything that we are decluttering and in this bag is all the expired medication that we are going to get rid of so it's a lot of stuff that was in there that is going to go two hours later and now everything is done so I will show you what everything looks like now So up at that top is just a bunch of pictures in there. We've got some VHS tapes up there on the right side. And then down here we have a camera bag, more pictures, and picture frames. And then down here, this is kind of all the stuff that my dad needs to go through. We didn't get rid of it because he wasn't home yet. so. He needs to go through all this and see what he wants to keep and what he wants to get rid of. And then this box was the box that had all the medicine in it that was sitting right here. And it actually fits in here now and we decluttered a whole lot of stuff that was in here. Now everything in here is usable and not expired. So we have this in there. Here are the CDs my mom wants to keep. This is going to be used and a wallet. So here before, if you remember, there was a bunch of stuff all over this and now it's empty. So not sure. We might put some like decor there or picture frames. But yeah, this is what it looks like now. Today I am at my parents' house and we are tackling the pantry. As you can see behind me, it needs a lot of work. So today we are going to declutter, clean, and organize. So if you want some inspiration to also do the same for your own pantry, then just keep on watching. First step we are going to do is take everything out. And because there is so much stuff, I'm just going to go shelf by shelf and then tackle it at one row at a time. I also recommend doing this if you have a similar pantry, just work row by row that way you're not overwhelmed with everything that you are taking out at once. Just wanted to show you how deep this 
goes. You can see that there's a bunch of stuff all the way in the back. So we're gonna go ahead and pull everything in the back out too. So this is everything that was just in that one top shelf. There's also some more stuff over here. So right now what we're going to do is just go through everything and see what's expired and what we can just throw away right now. Okay, so off camera, I just had my mom come over here and let me know what she wants to keep and what she doesn't. And she does not want to be in the video, so that is why I didn't record that. But this pile right over here is stuff that we are throwing away and everything else she wants to keep. So next thing we're going to do is just wipe down the top shelf because it's very dirty. As you're going through the process, take inventory of what you have and make a list of all your pantry staples because sometimes we end up with so much clutter because we buy things and then we never use them or just use them one time and never again. So I just finished putting everything that we're keeping back on the top shelf and what I'm realizing as I'm doing this is that I'm going to have to reorganize things after I'm done because I don't have that much counter space so I need to put some stuff back and then bring out more stuff. And I also have a few organizing bins that I want to use so after I just figure out what we need to take out and put back in there then I will organize everything and put it into its place. Here are the organizing items that I bought. I found all of this from Goodwill, which was awesome because everything was really inexpensive. And I'm really excited to put these in the pantry and just see how I can organize everything. Once again, these shelves are so deep that there is a bunch of stuff back there. I've just been pulling everything out, but the problem with shelves like this is that things can just get pushed back and it's really easy to forget that you have something. So hopefully we can fix this problem today. Okay, so there definitely is a lot more stuff on that second shelf. So we have all of that and then some of the stuff over here. And I actually found this container, which is perfect. We can put some cereal in there and decant. So I'm definitely going to wash this and then put some cereal in it. Okay, so right now we just figured out what we're going to get rid of and throw away. So I think now I'm going to bring in these bins. I got these from Goodwill about a week ago and all three of them were like 99 cents. So this is going to be handy right now so I can just try to organize some things into these bins. Here you can see that I am trying to figure out what to put in this bin and I ended up just getting the random small stuff that were in the pantry that were all over the place. So this is perfect because now everything is in one area and it's not just floating around in there and getting lost because the pantry as you can see is pretty big and little things like that can get lost easily. So. These bins are perfect for organizing the little things. When you are doing this yourself, you'll also realize that you might have to do a little bit of a trial and error and just try to figure out what works best for you for your items. All this work got me hungry, so it's time for a snack. 
here is a little update on the second shelf. It looks a lot better and I finally got to use two of these for the little small things that were kind of just floating around in there so we put them in these and now we're going to go in the third shelf. After we decided what we were going to still keep, I ended up wiping some of the stuff down because it was a little bit dusty. Some of these products are still good, they were just sitting back there and just being unused. So we cleaned everything off and then here I am organizing all the spices into one of these bins. Right now I'm going to see if this is going to work. I got a can organizer from Goodwill and we do have a few cans so I'm going to see if I can organize it onto this shelf. So I really like this can organizer and my mom did too so I kind of wish I had bought another one. There was one when I was at the store but I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not but now that I know I can definitely pick another one up because it came in handy. As I was going down the pantry, I noticed there was more and more stuff as I got down to the bottom. The last two rows definitely had a lot more stuff than I was expecting, but here you can see that I had to put everything on the floor. I just ran out of space and I'm going through everything here as well. Here is that container that I found in there earlier and I'm putting it to use. I really like it. I wish there were more of these, but I will use what I have. One of my favorite parts of this whole process was getting to use these baskets. I actually really love them and kind of jealous that they are not for my pantry but anyway here I am putting all the beans into this one basket and it fit perfectly in there and I also use the other two bins for other things like uh, rice and flour sugar things like that and it ended up working out really nicely <laughs> If you guys like any of the baskets or organizing bins that I have, I will try to find links for you guys and link it down below in the description box. are finally on to the very bottom of the pantry I am so excited and then here you can see a little sneak peek of what the pantry is looking like but yeah it's time to take everything from the bottom out and onto the floor <laughs> So 
here is about half of the stuff that was down at the bottom. There was a ton of stuff and I found these organizing bins but unfortunately the lids were missing except for one of them. So we actually did not end up using that but yeah here is some of the stuff like I said that was down at the bottom. There's some more at the top on the counter and then over here on the table we have more and there is tons of drinks and a lot of alcohol which is really weird because my parents don't even drink alcohol so those have been sitting there for a very 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 long time and we end up decluttering all of them the bottom was very messy so it was just easier for me to sweep with a broom than wipe down with a rag so that's what I'm doing right here. I am now putting everything that we are keeping back onto the bottom shelf and we have reached the very end. I am very tired at this point but it was so satisfying to do this and the results are pretty awesome so you'll see that in a second. so happy with the results I think it looks pretty amazing I'm really happy that my organizing bins and baskets came in handy for this project I think it looks absolutely great and also just goes to show you that you don't need to buy expensive containers just use what you have or just even find these secondhand there are tons of them that you can find at your local thrift store and you can just make over your pantry on a budget. We ended up getting rid of a ton of stuff. I couldn't believe how much stuff we got rid of. A lot of it was expired or just unused and I think we did a pretty great job today so if you agree be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really supports my channel and in the YouTube algorithm. Also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this and all about minimalism. A big reason why people don't declutter is because they don't have time. However, in today's video, I want to show you that you can make a big difference when you just declutter your home in 10 minutes. So today, I'm at my parents' house. We're in the kitchen, I'm going to declutter. Got some stuff up here. More random things for cooking. And this was filled with spices. I started taking some out but you get the idea. These were all in there. Let's see if anything's empty or expired. Like this is no longer good, obviously. So let's see what we can do. Decluttering your home does not have to take an entire day. For those of you that are super busy moms, parents, grandparents, sisters, brothers, whatever you have going on in your life you feel like you don't have time to declutter but i'm here to show you that it is possible and you can make a difference in just 10 minutes in this particular day my sister was at work so me and my mom watch my nephew while she's working and during this time it was his nap time so my mom went to put him to sleep and while she was doing that i got started with 
the cabinet in the kitchen, starting to take everything out and going through everything one by one and seeing what we can toss out and what we want to keep. It had been quite some time since my mom went through this cabinet and took a look at everything that she had in there. A lot of the things she didn't know she still had. There were some spices she didn't know she had either. So it's always good to every once in a while when you have the time to go through your space and just take inventory of what you have and see if there's anything that you can use up or declutter if you don't want to use it anymore. This is kind of hard to do with just one hand. Obviously, when you're doing this in your home, you're not holding a camera, but I'm just taking everything out and then placing it on to the stove and then going to wipe everything down so that we can have a clear and clean space. So here are all the spices. These ones on the left side are all the ones we're keeping. And then the ones on this right side are all expired or old. So those are going to be tossed out. Now I'm trying to organize the spices that are very similar together. So that way when my mom needs the spices, she can see what she has clearly and they're all sitting here ready for her to use. One of my strategies is that for the duplicate items, I'm putting them together, but I'm putting the one that has the least amount in the bottle towards the front so that when my mom uses the items, she can use up the one that's in the front first. That way she can use that up and then she can start fresh with the next spice behind it. Here in this one is just a bunch of random ingredients that she uses for cooking and so a lot of these things um, I'm not really sure if they're expired or not so I'm just going to take everything out and when my mom has a minute she can come and take a look at everything see what she wants to get rid of and what she wants to keep so there's a ton of stuff in here I'm gonna take it all out and set it on the stove. It looks like this top shelf is being used to store some miscellaneous items so same thing just going to take everything out and then she's going to go through it and see what she wants to keep and what she doesn't want to keep. So while we were doing the cabinet we decided to go through all of the cooking utensils. This is my mom who is camera shy but she is going through every single thing in here one by one and seeing what she wants to keep and what she wants to let go. By this time, the baby was asleep, so my mom doesn't have too much time until he starts moving around. So she came here and went through all the utensils and the spices and went through everything one by one and let me know what she wanted to keep and what she was ready to let go.
I hope from this video that you guys can see that it does not require a whole day to declutter your home. You can just take 10 minutes out of your day, go through a small space or section of your home and start decluttering and you want to pick a space that has less sentimental value so something like the kitchen is a great place to start if you're having trouble with decluttering. This cute utensil holder was at the very top of the shelf with all those extra appliances and my mom had been meaning to use it but she just forgot about it because it was just sitting back there hidden and when I took everything out she was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that. I've been wanting to use that to hold all my, my utensils and so we finally did that. We got rid of the old utensil holder and now we're placing everything that she wants to keep in here. I don't know how long she's had that sitting in there, but she was pretty happy that she can finally use it and made that time to go through everything and just make her space a little bit better and easier to use. So we are decluttering this utensil holder with these utensils and then some seasonings and other spices for cooking are going in the trash. This is before with the old utensils and the utensil holder and other miscellaneous items like oils and salt that was sitting on the counter. Since we have more space now, we moved that into the cabinet, so that's sitting there. And now on the bottom, we just have the oils and the utensils. So everything looks so much better, so much cleaner. I love how it turned out. And most importantly, my mom likes how it turned out since she's the one that cooks in this kitchen. Thank you for watching this quick 10 minute decluttering video. I hope you guys found this motivating and now you can tackle your own kitchen cabinet or other space in your home. Here is an overview of the laundry room. I believe this is the washer and this is the dryer. And on the dryer, you can see that my mom just puts everything on top of this. And the reason why is because these are filled with stuff. So we're gonna go through all of this today, take everything out as normal. I'm sure we're going to find lots of things to declutter and hopefully going to make some space to put these in there so that they're not sitting here all the time. And then here is the second one. Also just a bunch of <laughs> random things. I think they were using this for storage, of course, but nothing in here is laundry related. There's a lot of space here and I'm sure we're going to find some room for these and also some overstock that's in the garage so we can take that stuff from there and hopefully fit it all in here so i have a step stool because that's pretty high i can't reach 
without it, so I'm going to climb up there and start taking things down. First thing we have is a SpongeBob lamp. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to find some pretty interesting things in here since this has never been decluttered. <laughs> so those two are empty. Right now I'm working on taking these out and it looks like this is just a bunch of bathroom stuff. So like mouthwash, hair stuff. Pretty sure this is all expired so I'm just going to throw this out. So I'm trying to sort everything from what's trash and what's still donatable. So right now we only have these bags with things that we can still donate. And then out there we have the trash bag. Got a poncho. A book. Just random knickknacks in here. I think these were like mine. So definitely all this is just going to be donated. I mean, most of it is still pretty cute and good condition. So this is going to go. Okay, so far on this left side, we have everything that we're going to donate. And then in this bag, we have all the trash. So that's everything from this side. So now that we're done with that, I'm going to... Wipe it down, it's really dirty and dusty, so we're going to clean that and then start moving some of these things up there just so that there's more space so I can put those things down. So I just finished wiping these down and since it's been so many years of this being cleaned, a lot of the stains are basically permanent and even like this, like you can see this is like a Target logo, something got like printed on here just from sitting there so long and probably getting wet or something and that's just not going to come off. Anyway, that's as good as it's gonna get so I'm going to start seeing if I can organize some of these in here okay well that doesn't fit it's not good oh my gosh none of this fits well that's really inconvenient <laughs> Now I see why she has everything sitting on here. Rocks. No. Oh no. What do I do? This one should fit. Nope. Nothing fits. Who designed this? <laughs> what the heck? Oh no. We have some books, grammar, spelling, 
Like, do people even use these things nowadays? Like, now we have the internet where we can find all this information. It's crazy. Why is this in here? Oh my god, this is cute though. Baby shower gift, I'm assuming. My trash and donate piles getting pretty full out there, but for a fact, a lot of this is going to be donated. Empty box with just some manuals. Recycle that. I need a new trash bag because it's getting full. Bunch of hair accessories. This bag. Some ripped up fabric. This looks like a new mop head. So donate. It's been raining here lately, so maybe somebody can use an umbrella. Gonna donate these books. Donate. Trash. Ooh, I found some money. It's a quarter and a restroom token. Lovely. It's a student of the month award from when I was in first grade. Wow. Some random hair. And then we just got some makeup, so. Obviously, this is all expired. Found a lighter. Oh, that works. I want to keep that. So I just finished with everything, and here is the massive donate pile on this left side, including the SpongeBob lamp. And then we have two bags with trash. So basically, everything is out, and all of this is just empty now. And now I'm going to have to try to figure out what to do with all this stuff because it doesn't fit. <laughs> now it's time to put some stuff into these cabinets. And since these don't fit standing up, I'm thinking of just putting them on the side. I just don't know what other solution there is. If you guys have any idea, please let me know. I'm going to go into the garage. You guys know that my parents like to keep some overstock in here so either I lay them on their side or just leave them here. And then I was also thinking maybe I can put some extra paper towels and toilet paper in there since that can definitely fit into that cabinet. So I'm just going to play around and then also ask what my mom thinks because she's the one that's going to be using the space so gonna see what her thoughts are on either laying them on their side so they can fit in there or maybe just putting some of the extra paper towels and napkins and stuff in there because it would be nice to get these out of the way so that they're not here in the garage and they're actually in the laundry room
So this unfortunately is just going to have to sit on here for now. Now I understand why my mom has all these things just sitting on the dryer. But I was kind of thinking, or my sister actually gave me the idea, what if we put them into a smaller jar or container and then put them up there? And then we could leave the rest that's in the jug in the garage. That's an idea. If you guys have any other better ideas, let me know. At the very top, we put some extra liquid soap, some glass cleaner, and then the rest are paper towels. Nothing on this shelf. That is a jug with some sort of solution that my mom uses. So that fit there, so we put it there. And then a couple cleaning supplies. Again, just didn't want too many things sitting on here, so I put the smaller jugs in there and I laid them down. That's the best I can do. So that's what this side looks like. And then going over to this side, I ended up putting all the paper towels that were in the garage. I took them out and put them all there. I tried to stack them on top of each other, but doors wouldn't close. So I just left them like that. And then here on the bottom, we have some more paper towels, napkins, and some toilet paper. So this is probably not always going to look like this. Obviously, as they use things, it'll be emptied. I think just for now, it's a good solution to have them all here instead of in the garage. It's really hard to work with these cabinets, as you guys saw in this video. My mom actually has been wanting for a very long time to just get completely rid of these because besides it being too small to fit anything in there she also can't reach the top without a step stool so ideally she would like to have like some sort of shelves instead for her laundry supplies but we're just going to work with what we have so i don't know maybe that's a project that can happen in the future but we'll see Today we are decluttering in my parents' kitchen and since this kitchen is so big, we're not going to declutter the entire thing because it's going to be very overwhelming. So instead, we're just going to break it down into parts and we're going to start from over here on this side, right when you walk into the kitchen, you see these two cabinets right here and that's what we're working on today. This is just an overview of the kitchen so you can see how many cabinets there are and everything that we'll be working on in the future. So in today's video, we're just going to focus on these two right here. So when we open this, this is basically a junk cabinet. They don't have a junk drawer. They have a whole cabinet full of stuff. So hopefully we can do something with this today, make it look a lot better. And then in here we have also just Full of random things so I know if we declutter these spaces there's going to be so much more space for my mom to actually have the stuff that she uses on a regular basis in here instead so they're not taking up so much space with clutter even though this is a small space I find it a little bit overwhelming to start with so I'm going to start off with this side since there's less stuff and I feel like it's going to be easier to Organize this one first and then go over to that one. Ew, I just found something really sticky and gross. I'm like afraid to touch it. Uh, okay, let's grab a, a napkin. So this is what I found, don't know what this is, but this is definitely going in the trash. chair to get up at the top because I can't reach. <laughs> Here's 
Here is a closer look at what we're working with in the top shelf. So literally just a bunch of random stuff, kitchen related and not kitchen related. As I'm going through this stuff, I'm seeing there are various supplements and medicines. So I'm going to see if there's going to be a way for me to organize all that in here a lot better than how it looks and also get rid of anything that's expired and old, which I'm sure we're gonna find lots of in here. So, I'm gonna continue taking stuff down. Medicine. Scale. So I'm running out of space here. That's okay. And, ew. Some old drink. Sunglasses. Oh, you can see there's some spider webs up here. stuff, glasses, ice cube tray, and we have some CDs in here. Okay. Some water bottles. Number two, and this box. Okay, I need two hands for this, so I'm gonna put the camera down. This looks like it's brand new, still in the box, probably never used for fruit infusion. So I'm starting a donate pile on the table and setting everything aside that I'm sure my mom's not gonna use since all these things have not been used in years. So I'm pretty sure that she's okay with letting them go. Obviously I'm gonna make sure that it's okay, but I'm going to start the donate pile right behind you. We've got some class award for a project for school that is my sister's. We also have some manuals for the air fryer that they have. So they've had this for a long time and I'm sure that they don't need this anymore. They already know how to use the air fryer and everything, so this is going to go recycle. And I have my trash bag, so in here is gonna go everything that's expired or just literally trash. So I have my trash bag, and we're gonna start putting some trash here. I'm pretty sure it's dead or else it would have crawled away. Oh my god. Okay, trash. Trash. I hate spiders. Twenty 
21. Yeah, this is all expired candy, which is sad because I love raisinets. <laughs> These two are empty, and now we're down to the bottom shelf. Batteries. A whole tray. Oh, that's heavy. Of batteries. Another water bottle. We're gonna put that here in the donate. So this is our little donate section so far. Mm -hmm. Chocolate. Go in the trash. Drop these. Green see. Okay, everything up here is empty now. There were a lot of expired food and medicine, bunch of random stuff that has never been used that could be donated, so I set those aside. Lots of spider webs and saw a couple spiders as well, which was not fun. But now we got rid of all that. This is all empty, so now I'm gonna wipe it down. Also, for some reason, my parents like to use the oven that, by the way, does not work. <laughs> they like to use it as storage as well. So not only do they put stuff on here, but there's also stuff inside, which I'm afraid to open, but <laughs> we'll save that for another time. So here I see that they have some medicine here as well. And I think this is the stuff that they use recently, so we're going to put this in here now. Medicine in here. Got a lot of dirt on here, so I can clean that. I see some stuff. Ooh. Motor batteries. So this is the trash bag. It is pretty full and pretty heavy. And this is what it looks like now. So I'm going to see 
what we can put in there because a lot of the stuff my mom has, she has them pretty much randomly sitting out on counters and stuff. So we can clear the clutter from the counters and other spaces by putting other stuff in there. So that's what I want to try to do right now. Okay, so this is what we're left with. Here, this side down is donations. I'm going to put those in this bag. These plates I need to go through. I think we're going to keep those and then figure out what to do with those containers because those were sitting on top of the microwave. Let's put everything away. Okay, now that this is cleared out, we're going to start over here and tackle this. Now that I have the ball rolling after doing this side, I'm ready to tackle this. It's not so overwhelming anymore. So the last time that I decluttered this area, my dad was here and he was kind of telling me what stuff he wanted to keep and what was okay to let go. Last time I brought up these plates, it's a holiday set, and he told me, it was like a year ago, that he was going to use them for Christmas. He never did. And so he said that if he never used it for Christmas, then I could let them go. So this is what it looks like right now. There's a lot of tools and little nails and screws and just small things like that that are just all over in there and I'm trying to figure out what to do with that. I kind of want everything in one spot so I'm trying to put things together as fast as I can. I know my dad and he's not gonna want to get rid of everything so I'm mostly organizing but I am finding some stuff to declutter. 
So for all the random stuff that's just floating in there that I don't know what to do with is in this bag. And here is everything that is going to be donated. This is, I guess, an old TV console set or something. I have no idea what this is. It looks really old. We have these, this bell, and chapstick, and old sunglasses bag and then a couple things in there a wreath hanger and then i think this is a camera bag this is what we have so far for donations <sighs> at this point i'm pretty exhausted because i just don't know what to do with all these little pieces that i'm finding and i know my dad is gonna want to keep everything so I just don't know how to best organize this right now for him. Oh my gosh. This ring. It's not focusing, but this is my baby ring. It has my first initial. This was literally from when I was a baby and I just found it. That's so crazy. <laughs> little mason jar idea but I can't fit everything in there so we have a few hammers just laying there and screwdrivers and stuff wrenches I'm just gonna leave those like that and then pick all these up and just find a container for them all here is our final declutter pile of everything here's a bag with some stuff too and then everything here on this counter and everything in this paper bag there was a lot of stuff in there that was just taking up so much space and now i can show you what everything looks like This space is all clear now just with these two appliances and in here we basically got rid of everything which is nice now there's all this space that my mom can use to put other stuff in here she does have a lot of stuff sitting on the counters so maybe we can move those things in here so that they're not taking up space on the counter this is what this looks like now so still a junk cabinet but a little bit decluttered and a little bit more organized is it perfect absolutely not is there more stuff that could be decluttered yes but when dealing with my dad who has a hard time of letting stuff go this is the best that we can do and maybe eventually along the line he is going to be able to get rid of more stuff but at least it looks way better than it did before i am very exhausted now but i'm so glad that we were able to do this today if you enjoyed this please leave a like subscribe if you like videos about decluttering and simple living i upload videos every single week see you guys next time